I now have the great honor to present to you our keynote speaker, Professor Peng Luyan, First Lady of China and UNESCO Special Envoy for the Advancement of Girls and Women's Education. We know Professor Peng for her lifelong commitment to women's empowerment and her exemplary work as UNESCO Special Envoy. Earlier this month, I had the pleasure of joining her in Beijing at the high-level dialogue on women's leadership in education that brought together women educators from Asia and Africa to learn and share best practices. The Beijing seminar marked the launch of several projects that are supporting African and Asian countries in accelerating girls' and women's education. We are honored to have you here with us today, Professor Peng, and please, the floor is yours. Thank you. Director General Bokova, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to join you for this important initiative as the UN marks its 70th anniversary. Education is very close in my heart. My father grew up in a small village in China. In those days, not many villagers could read. So my father opened a night school to teach them how to read. With his help, many people learned to write their own names. With his help, many people learned to read newspapers for the first time. With his, with his help, many women were able to teach their children how to read. As his daughter, I know what education means to the people, especially those without it. After generations of hard work, China has come a long way in education. I myself am a beneficiary of that progress. Otherwise, I would never have become a soprano and a professor of music. I'm following in my father's footsteps by teaching at the China Conservatory of Music to help continue China's success story. I want to thank Director General Bokova and UNESCO for naming me the Special Envoy for Girls and Women's Education. I'm truly honored to work with the UN and do something for global education. I have visited many schools around the world. I've seen firsthand how much more we can do <coughs> on education. Education is about women and girls. It is important for girls to go to school because they will become their children's first teachers someday. But women <laughs> still account for over half of the world's poor in population and 60% of adults who can read. Education is crucial in addressing such inequalities. In China, the, the Spring Bad Education Program has helped over three million girls go back to school. Many of them have finished university education and are doing well at work. Education is about equality. In poor countries and the regions, the number of school dropouts is astonishing. We call for more educational resources to these places. Education is about the young people. Young people are the future. Education is important because it not only gives young people knowledge and skills, but also helps them become responsible citizens. 
as a UNESCO Special Envoy, and the mother myself, my commitment to education for all will never change. Many years ago, my father made small difference in his village. Together, we can make a big difference in the world. I was once asked about my Chinese dream. I said, I hope all children, especially girls, can have access to good education. This is my Chinese dream. I believe one day, education first will no longer be a dream. It will be a reality enjoyed by every young woman on this planet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Professor, uh, Professor Peng Luyan, for this uh, so inspiring statement.